Could it be possible that we're about to witness a significant shift or even a halt in SpaceX's Starship launches? A growing wave of doubts and difficulties seems to suggest that SpaceX's Starship program might be heading into an uncertain future. The Starship is an ultra-powerful, fully reusable spaceship, intended to be the primary spacecraft for the Artemis program. Measuring 9 meters in width and roughly 50 meters in height, it's designed to carry up to 100 people to the Moon, Mars, and potentially beyond. Its unique design includes groundbreaking Raptor engines and features that enable it to endure the rigors of multiple re-entries. But returning to our main concern, the Starship is facing significant hurdles. After a highly anticipated launch that ended in an explosion just minutes after liftoff, there are rising concerns about the readiness of the Starship to carry astronauts to the moon by the projected date. This concern was vocalized by none other than Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development. Jim Free suggested that the upcoming launches might need to be postponed. So why are these outcomes anticipated? The answer lies in the aftermath of the recent Starship launch failure. On the 20th of April, the spacecraft roared to life, lifting off with an unmatched power. The world watched as this titan ascended into the sky, but suddenly the rocket exploded mid-flight. What followed was a scramble to comprehend the fallout of the event. Communities around the launch site were suddenly faced with the consequences of this misstep. The explosion had sent a considerable amount of particulate matter into the surrounding areas, much farther than expected. Moreover, the explosion also wrought significant damage to the SpaceX launch pad. Concrete chunks from the launch pad were sent flying in all directions, leaving a crater where the massive rocket once stood. The damage was far more extensive than anyone anticipated, even extending to the nearby ocean. The aftermath raised grave concerns from environmental advocacy groups and biological experts. What was expected to be a controlled 700-acre debris field had far surpassed the predicted bounds. Communities several miles away from the launch site reported broken windows, shaking homes, and an unexpected dusting of particulate matter. Meanwhile, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, promptly grounded SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy launch program. The mishap investigation is a standard procedure to assess the consequences of the incident. Now the launch site lays quiet, and the once promising Starship launch is under intense scrutiny. Musk himself acknowledged ahead of the launch that a vehicle with 33 engines is akin to a box of grenades, and that an explosion was a likely outcome. However, the extent of the blast and its far-reaching effects were not foreseen. Moreover, the explosion has triggered another legal challenges for SpaceX. Environmental groups have initiated a lawsuit against the FAA, citing the agency's failure to fully assess the environmental risks of SpaceX's operations in Boca Chica. The lawsuit calls for a comprehensive environmental review and sheds light on the cultural importance of Boca Chica. This new legal and environmental hurdle adds to SpaceX's list of issues that it needs to navigate while developing the Starship. With all these complications, it's clear that SpaceX is facing a significant setback. The future of the Starship project is in limbo, and the scheduled timeline for the Artemis program is looking increasingly doubtful. Yet the clock is ticking. SpaceX needs to conduct numerous Starship launches before it can start carrying Artemis astronauts. This includes deploying other Starship tankers to fuel the lunar-bound Starship in a depot in Earth's orbit, and sending an uncrewed Starship to the Moon and back before the Artemis III mission. SpaceX's struggle is not merely confined to legal hurdles. The company also grapples with operational and engineering. Notably, SpaceX is working diligently to reinforce the ground beneath its Starship rocket's orbital launch pad, following considerable damage during a recent test flight. They are developing a massive water-cooled steel plate designed to shield the ground from the colossal power of the rocket's 33 first-stage Raptor engines. The intent is to mitigate damage like what was witnessed during Starship's launch on April 20th, which left the pad heavily scarred and pockmarked. The steel plate technology, though not ready in time for the April 20th launch, is now under rapid development. It has already been subjected to the formidable power of a single Raptor engine in tests, as demonstrated in a video shared by SpaceX. Withstanding the engine's power without incurring damage, the steel plate looks set to provide a robust protective layer under the launch mount in the future. As SpaceX grapples with the Starship challenges, another contender has joined the lunar race. 
Blue Origin, led by Jeff Bezos, has been announced as the winner of a highly sought-after $3.4 billion NASA contract. The moment is a significant one for Blue Origin, coming two years after losing out to SpaceX in a previous NASA competition. Interestingly, NASA had previously awarded a $3 billion contract to SpaceX, under the leadership of Musk, to construct its Starship spacecraft for lunar missions. In 2021, Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against NASA, challenging the awarding of a contract to SpaceX for the construction of a lunar lander. This legal dispute wasn't related to the latest $3.4 billion contract Blue Origin has now won, but rather the previous $2.9 billion contract that NASA awarded to SpaceX. In the 2021 lawsuit, Blue Origin questioned the fairness of the process and brought attention to critical safety considerations. Despite these concerns, the U.S. Court of Federal Claims ruled in favor of NASA and SpaceX. Following the ruling, NASA expressed intent to resume work with SpaceX as quickly as possible, while Blue Origin stated it would continue its commitment to the Artemis program's success. The recent contract awarded to Blue Origin offers NASA a second option for lunar missions. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson's statement at the announcement event underlined the agency's desire for healthy competition, stating, We want two landers and that's better. It means that you have reliability, you have backups. If SpaceX fails to quickly address its current challenges, it could risk losing out on future contracts to competitors who are eager and ready to capitalize on any perceived vulnerabilities. This scenario could lead to SpaceX losing momentum and potentially missing out on valuable opportunities. However, it's important to note that SpaceX is renowned for its innovative and problem-solving culture. The company has faced and overcome numerous challenges in the past, and it's likely that they are already working on solutions for their current problems. If you've enjoyed this content and found it informative, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.